Hey guys, it's Brandon Walker, and this is the Holger 120N. Today I'm going to show you why this cheap plastic camera is one of my favorite street photography tools. The secret to shooting this camera is coming up next. So the Holger was first introduced in China in 1981, and this is a 120 film format camera. But unfortunately for the Holger, it came out right in a time when 120 was on its way out and 35mm was on its way in. So something had to be done with this camera. So the Chinese decided to export this camera to America and Europe. Um, that's really where photographers discovered the power of this lo-fi camera. So we've emerged into a really rainy LA day, which is unusual and difficult because it's so dark. But I've loaded some fast film here, which allows me to still shoot. It's a very simple plastic camera with a plastic lens, and that's it. This is the cloudy setting, and this is the sunny setting. The cloudy setting is about f8, and the sunny setting is about f11. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot one here. So I love shooting in downtown LA because it's an urban center on the rise. You've got all of this new development, art and culture, but you're only a block from the nation's largest skid row. The Holga is actually a really adept street shooter. Uh, because it's so unassuming, you can get right into somebody and shoot quickly and quietly, and they never know the difference. So today I'm actually gonna not only shoot environments, but people as well. You know, you can do so many things with this camera. They blurry. Impressionistic, beautiful images of this camera. And to be honest with you, it's really the best and cheapest way to introduce yourself to medium format photography. So the Holga is a zone focus camera, which means there really is no precise focus except to use these icons on the lens. I was just shooting landscapes, and so I was on the infinity setting. And I'm about to shoot something that's a little bit closer. I'm gonna move that to this medium icon of a group of people together. So the Holga basically shoots in two modes. The 6x6 six six square format, where you get 12 exposures per roll, or the 645 rectangular format, where you get 16 exposures per roll. And you choose that here on the back. If you want to make a change, you can open the camera and simply remove this plastic mask. This is the square mask, which I prefer, and we could replace that with a rectangular mask. When you're shooting the Holger on the street, you have to be very careful to keep an eye on these clips. These clips are all that holds the back on the camera, and if they fall off, the back falls off and all of your film is exposed. So I tend to check these, you know, occasionally, making sure that they're tight and secure. The other thing about the Holga is that these seams are very crudely manufactured, so they tend to produce light leaks. So the factory in Hong Kong that produces Holga recently closed, but there's still thousands of these cameras, both new and used, on the market. In fact, today is actually a great time to get a Holga, several of them, and start experimenting. Okay guys, that's the last frame. I'm gonna get this camera inside where it's dry, unload the film, and then take it to the lab so you can see it. I hope you enjoyed seeing this plastic camera in action. Um, if you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to Lo-Fi Photographer and catch up with us at lofi-photographer.com. Thanks for watching, we'll talk to you soon.